So, I am thinking about quitting video games. It's, um, it's just because I think they're taking too much time of my life and I cannot control it. I mean, in fact, I can, but you know, it's like bursts of energy that goes into video games when I'm very highly effective on my daily routine, my progress and everything. So uh, they drain my time. And uh, I'm not talking about all the video games in the world. I'm, I'm just talking about uh, specific ones. And um, you guys got to know, I, I bought like The Witcher 3, I bought Starcraft, all the three expansions. And um, I bought Overwatch and I played none of them. Like, I barely played them and um, I ended up playing one video game, which was free to play. And that's the game in which I invested most of my time for one year, one year and a half, I don't know. So that game is Heroes of the Storm. And it's an online game, it's, it's pretty fun. And I always end up saying, okay, just one match. And that never turns out to be like that. Because I always wake up every morning and I say, well, today's gonna be so, so productive. It's gonna be such a productive day. And I'm gonna start going to the gym. I'm gonna go to work. And then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna study and I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna read and I'm gonna learn so much stuff and it's gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna progress a lot. And that never happens because um, when I'm very close to finish work, I'm like rushing till the end so I can quickly go home because I'm only thinking about playing Heroes of the Storm. And as soon as I go, uh, as I get home, I turn on the PC very fast and uh, I start playing. And I say, just one match and then I, I'll be able to, to do all what I want to do. Well, that never turn, turns out that way, you know, because I, I always play one match, then you lose and then you say okay i don't i don't want this to end up like this i i cannot I, I cannot end up this day having lost a match in heroes of the storm so we should play another one and you win the second one and you feel like that dopamine releasing in your body and you feel like wow i'm the man <laughs> and then you say okay um i think i'm ready i'm gonna start now so one of your friends suddenly comes online and says, hey, you wanna play? Oh, you were playing already. And you are like, yeah, I was about to quit now because I got stuff to do. And then they say, um, come on, just one, just one more. And you say, sure, why not? I mean, it's just one more. So the story, the story repeats again and then more of your friends come online and yeah you've been four hours playing heroes of the motherfucking storm that day say goodbye to your progress say goodbye to your work homework and yeah it's suddenly 12 in the night and you're tired you know you have to wake up at 6 a.m next day so you say, you know what, fuck the homework. And you go to bed. The thing is, you haven't done anything. The only time you had fun playing was the first match. You know, the real like happiness was in the first match. And you completely ruined it by playing again, again, and again, and again. You know what Greeks used to say? like. Everything's fine if it's not done in an excessive way. And I think, guys, that's an excessive way to consume a video game. I mean, 
why I don't play The Witcher? I, I love this. I love that game. Why don't I play uh, StarCraft? I bought that game because of the story, because of the background story, because of the lore. I, I wanted to know it. I wanted to sort of live it by my own and not just watching it on YouTube videos. That sucks, man. I feel more attracted to that game, which is basically always the same. It's just that you can play it in, I don't know how many characters they're, they're, they're like, uh, you can play it in 30 different ways. And they have 12 different maps. I guess that makes a difference. But anyway, it sucks. It sucks so much because I don't feel good after playing it. So, um, like six months ago, I think I decided to quit video games. Yeah, these kind of, you know, decisions, these kind of radical decisions usually work to me, but not this time. So I tried hiding the icons from my desktop. I tried to uninstall all the games and uh, like one month later or two months later i ended up getting back because everybody was telling me dude this is too much i mean you don't have to go that hard on on yourself just feel free um do do your stuff but also relax and play video games watch films do whatever well, I don't think that. I, I don't feel that. I don't believe that. I don't. I don't believe in that. I believe. Um, if I want to relax, I should keep going on some task that will allow me to get better somehow. That can be reading. That can be drawing. Drawing whatever. Not even studying, you know, just doodling stuff. Um, yeah, but not playing damn video games. Not watching films. I feel that's like an empty resource. I mean, it's... You, you don't get anything out of that. So, yeah. I think since I've moved to the city... From my hometown i i started to control that way more to me it was like an addiction it was like i was addicted to playing that video game four hours a day that's a lot to me at least it's it's my subjective opinion but um i i ended up controlling it and i'm pretty happy I was able to play like one match a day or a night and when life hit me hard I decided it's been only one week from this but I decided not to play anymore because simply because you know I feel more attracted to other stuff other stuff I've been wanting to do months ago years ago it's been so much it's been so long since i wanted to do this and i finally um i'm finally finding myself in this mindset where i can say no to the things i don't really want to do and i'm not letting them to control me i'm controlling them i'm controlling my life now so that makes me feel happier because i feel i'm making things so i'm trying to write down my tasks i'm trying to you know uh scratch them over and yeah i i feel i'm improve I, I feel like i'm improving right now i'm i'm about to go running something i've haven't done for i don't know two three years probably and my life's changing guys i'm changing my life hope to change yours too